so what I got here, I got a, a 6L90E or a 6L80, and it's a 2009. Uh, it's on a seat body uh, truck. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, disassemble this unit and see what we can find uh, wrong with this. And one common issue with this is one of the pistons likes to crack and it causes a cross leak and you have uh, an issue with fourth gear and sixth gear. Uh, it's a six speed uh, rear wheel drive transmission. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tear down and see what we are going to be able to find. Esta es una 6L90 transmisión uh, 2009 en una bueno, cuerpo uh, C de troca, uh, puede ser SUV. Uh, la vamos a desarmar a ver qué le vamos a encontrar a esta troca, uh, a esta transmisión. Una falla común es uh, un pistón uh, se craquea y se craquea seguido uh, y se cruza, la, la, se fuga de un lado a otro y tienes problemas con cuarta y con sexta. Okay. Okay, so this is the first time this is the first time that I do a bilingual video. Es la primera vez que hago un video bilingüe. Pero vamos a desarmar esta. Let's go ahead and get to it. Tear this thing down. Uh, the first thing that I would like to do first is uh, take the valve body off so that we can take this connector off. Uh, we're going to put the pan back on and uh, so we can take the bell housing out, uh, off. So lo primero que vamos a hacer, le vamos a quitar la bandeja, le vamos a quitar las caque válvulas para quitarle el conector este en la, que, que pasa de lado a lado y le vamos a poner la bandeja para atrás y luego ya para poderle quitar la bandeja o la campana para poderla desarmar de esta manera All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start removing the valve body vamos a remover la ca caja de válvulas bandeja primero remove the pan has a uh, reusable gasket, es un uh, empaque reusable, lleva. You can see that the fluid looks new, el aceite se ve nuevo, but we got metal, tenemos fierro que va escurriendo aquí para abajo. Uh, so there is a problem with the unit, uh, hay un problema dentro de la unidad. Okay, we remove the filter, uh, removemos el filtro, and uh, to remove the valve body, we need to get this uh, pass-through connector out. Para remover la caja de válvulas hay que quitarle este conector, so we can pull it up para poder levantarla and remove it. Uh, and to do that, we're going, we're going to unlatch it. Vamos a desganchar y jalar hacia arriba. Okay, so now that, that it is unlatched, then we can remove the pass-through connector. Ya cuando está desatrancado, entonces ya puedes quitar La, la camisa esta, el conector. Ok, now uh, the valve body takes uh, special bolts. Uh, they're inverted uh, Torx Plus. Uh, la caja de válvulas lleva unos tornillos especiales que son uh, tor Torx Plus invertidos. Este es el de la 4L60 para la campana. This is the 4L60 uh, bell housing uh, Torx Plus to remove the bolts on the 4L60. Y este es para quitarle a esta 6L90 eh, la caja de válvulas. This is for the 6L80, 6L90, 6L50 uh, valve body uh, bolts removal. Uh, you can get this from Snap-on. Este lo puedes conseguir con Snap-on. Uh, you see here, this is Torx Plus, and it fits right in there. Uh, es un Torx Plus, y es exactamente igual, le, nomás que es invertido, it's inverted. And the part number, el número de parte es uh, 10EPL, 10EPL. And you can get this from Snap-on, Snap-on Tools. Okay, now we uh, remove the bolts. Quitamos los tornillos to get this uh, valve body out. As we see here, I think it's probably been removed before. Como vemos aquí, se me hace que ya le han quitado porque en unos tornillos no le entra bien el dado. 
in some of the bowls the socket does not go in correctly. So that's an indication somebody's been in here before and you can see the marks on the bolts. También mira las marcas en los tornillos. 6L90, 2009, 6L90, 2009. Remove the bolts. And then you can pull up on the valve body itself. Y no ya nomás levantas la caja de válvulas. As you see here, this is the electronic control. Here is the transmission control module. Aquí está la, la computadora de la transmisión. You have uh, two on-off solenoids. Tienes dos uh, solenoides que son on-off. And then the rest of the solenoids are pulse width modulated. El resto de los solenoides son uh, pulsados, de modulación pulsada. Here we have the internal mode switch. Aquí tenemos el uh, switch de modo interno o el... Uh, uh, switch de la palanca de los cambios is directly attached to the manual valve. Está uh, directamente enganchado a la válvula manual. So whenever you move the, the gear selector, uh, as you see here, it, it gives you the position of the gear. So en cuanto mueves la palanca de los cambios, esta barrita mueve el sensor aquí adentro uh, y te dice en qué cambio está la transmisión. It'll tell you what gear it is on the transmission itself. You have uh, two speed sensors. Lleva dos sensores de velocidad. They're Hall effect, sen Hall effect sensors. Son sensores uh, tipo uh, Hall effect. Uh, one is the input, the other is the output. One is the input, the other one is the output speed sensor. And these are the seals that seal in between the valve body and the case. Estos son los sellos que sellan entre la caja de válvulas y la caja. Here we see some more seals in the barrel of the case. Aquí hay más uh, sellos en el barril de la caja. These are removable. Estos son los quitas. Se quitan fácil. You can remove them easily. So this is your valve body or what General Motors likes to call as the TECM, T-E-C-M. Uh, uh, transmission electronic uh, uh, hydraulic module. Uh, la General Motors de Bus uh, le llama uh, TECM T uh, transmisión uh, uh, módulo hid uh, hidráulica el electro hidráulica. I don't know how to pronounce that in Spanish. No sé cómo se dice en español correctamente, pero uh, in English it's a TECM. All right. Now this unit has, has a very uh, big snap ring right here in the center that is very hard to get out if you don't have the, uh, the proper uh, snap ring pliers, they're about this big. Uh, en el centro de la caja lleva un candado grande de ojos que necesitas una pinza grande para sacar y si no las tienes es bien difícil para sacarlo. Uh, we're going to take it off manually, lo vamos a sacar manualmente, uh, just so that you can see how big and stout that uh, snap ring is, para que miren que tan uh, rígido y grande está el, el, el candado ese, lo vamos a quitar manual. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the pan back on, ahora le voy a poner la, la bandeja para atrás a la transmisión, I can find my two bolts, okay, here's my two bolts, aquí están mis tornillos, ponernos los para atrás, reinstalling the pan bolt. I'm reinstalling the pan for easy uh, to, uh, to make it easier for me to work on it. Para que sea más fácil para trabajar en ella. And it'll be easy for me to uh, remove the bell housing out. Va a ser más fácil para remover la campana. And yeah, this is a little bit heavy. It's a little heavy unit. It's very stout. Y si sí, es un poquito pesada, está pesada la transmisión, uh, está un poquito fuerte. 15 mm socket, ha dado 15 milímetros a quitar la cola, to remove the extension housing, and I can see now on the bolts that these bolts have been removed, so somebody's been, somebody worked on it before. So aquí veo que ya alguien ha trabajado en ella, en los tornillos se mira marcado el dado donde ya la removieron.
more difficult to uh, pinpoint the problem on a, a transmission that somebody's been working on, especially one like this that you can see the fluid is brand new. I'm assuming that it has been recently uh, worked on, not too long ago, maybe a couple months. Es un poquito difícil tratar de llegar al problema cuando alguien ya ha estado trabajando en una unidad y sin tener información de lo que está haciendo la transmisión, especialmente cuando la miras con aceite nuevecito. Ok, now we're going to go ahead and remove the uh, bell housing, but for that, we're going to go ahead and remove our uh, input shaft o-ring. Vamos a quitar la campana, pero primero hay que quitarle la liga del input shaft. This is what seals the torque converter clutch piston. Esta liguita es la que sella el pistón de la, de la, de la cup en la turbina. We're going to remove all our 15 millimeter bolts. Vamos a remover todos los tornillos 15. Now the bell housing bolts are longer than the extension housing bolts. Los tornillos de la campana son más largos que los de la, de la cola. Aquí los ves diferentes. You can see the difference here uh, in length. And you have more bell housing bolts than tail housing bolts. También tienes más tornillos en la campana que en la, en la cola. Now we remove the uh, bell housing. Ahora le quitamos la campana. This to the side, I was as your low. Take the input drum, drum off. Removemos el tambor. This is the O ring. This is your uh, pump. It's uh, attached with 8 millimeter bolts to the bell housing. La pompa está. Uh, Atornillada con uh, tornillos 8 en la, en la campana. Now in here, this is where the problem, uh, normal, common problem lives. Aquí adentro es donde el problema normal del pistón que se craquea existe. But I see that the, the input clutches are discolored. Pero miro que los clutches de aquí de este tambor están descoloridos. Let's go... Uh, and uh, remove this, vamos a quitarlos. See what they look like, para ver cómo se ven. Okay, they look brand new. Los cloches se ven nuevecitos. Uh, they were used uh, pressure plate, which there's nothing wrong with it. Reusaron el pressure plate y exactamente no tiene nada. It seems like uh, they had a problem here before. Uh, se ve que tenían un problema aquí antes, porque el tambor está recalentado. It's overheated here. That doesn't mean that this drum is bad. Eso no significa que el tambor está dañado. It uh, could be in perfectly good condition, and it looks like it is because these frictions are not burnt. Y se ve que sí están bien porque esos cloches no están quemados. Okay, so now we go ahead and uh, remove, start removing uh, the frictions from here. Ahora sí vamos a tener que uh, remover los cloches de este tambor. Okay. These are the three, five, and reverse frictions, the tercera, quinta, y reversa. Take the spacer out. Vamos en el spacer. They look in good shape. Se ven en buena condición. They're new, son nuevos. Aquí vemos a... Uh, Los clutches uh, nuevos también, we can see some more uh, new frictions here. Uh, they're a little brown, but, but they're not, they're not burned up. Thank you. Now, did you see the difference in these frictions? This is a little darker. Este es un poquito más oscuro. Uh, the only difference is that this is a high energy friction. Este es un cloche de fricción de alta energía. And this is a regular uh, wafer friction. Este es una cloche normal, rojo. Uh, 
This is not burned. Este no está quemado. This not supposed to look like this. Este cloche no se debe ver como este. Uh, that's the material uh, that they're made of. Es el material de lo que están hecho. Uh, this is perfectly normal. Es perfectamente normal. Somebody tells you that this is burned up. And you can see it, it looks uh, gray or kind of greenish. Si alguien te dice que este está quemado, pero si lo ves que está medio gris o medio verde, uh, te están echando mentiras, they're probably lying to you. If somebody tells you this clutch should look like this and it is not black, uh, si alguien te dice que este clutch se ve como este y no está negro, uh, no te están diciendo la verdad, they're not telling you the truth. So you can see the difference in both versions. Y mira la diferencia de los dos uh, clutches. So far, everything looks in good shape. Hasta ahorita todo se ve en buena condición. Uh, the complaint was delayed engagement when cold. Eh, el problema era uh, uh, cuando frío no se tardaba para moverse y ya caliente funcionaba bien. When it was hot, it would work all right. Uh, now we're going to try to find the problem. Ahora vamos a tener que tratar de encontrar el problema. Okay. So we go further down. Then we're going to disassemble this, but not right now. I'm just going to shine my light in there. Lo voy a ver tantito hacia adentro. A ver que se le ve. Just to see if I can see if this piston is cracked. Usually you would see it from the, from the rear. Casi por lo regular vas a ver la craqueada por el lado de atrás, el lado de adentro. I see some marks, but I'm not sure. Miro unas marcas, pero no estoy completamente seguro. It looks cracked, but I'm not sure. Se mira craqueado, pero no estoy seguro. Once I disassemble this drum, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do a further, deeper inspection on the piston. Okay, so uh, this is the piston that likes to break. This goes up here. It's a piston that uh, se daña bien seguido, uh, se craquea de, de la orilla. It cracks from the, the edge there. And sometimes you can see the crack coming all the way across. A veces que se ve la craqueada que se ve para el otro lado. This piston here looks like it's been sanded. Uh, este piston se ve como que le lijaron ahí. Uh, maybe try to see if it was cracked or not. Yo creo para ver si le estaba craqueado o no. But I can see a little crack. Let's see if I can find it again. Vamos a ver si encuentro otra vez la craqueada. But it does have uh, evidence of a crack. Okay, here it is right here. Okay, aquí está. I don't know if, uh, if I can get closer here so that you can see it. No sé si me puedo acercar a que se vea. But right here empieza aquí it starts right here and it goes to the side all the way here sometimes you see this crack like half the piston around a veces que miras esta craqueada casi hasta la mitad del piston unfortunately you can't see it desafortunadamente se me hace que no se va a ver en la cámara but this is the piston that likes to break este es el pistón que siempre se, se, se craquea. Now on the drum. On the drum there's a little orifice. En el tambor tiene un orificio pequeñito. Very small orifice. This is normal. Este es normal. The orifice needs to be there. Ese orificio eh, necesita estar ahí. Es completamente normal. Uh, sometimes the weld, if you see the weld here, hay veces que la soldadura, uh, lo soldaron muy caliente, they probably welded too hot, and you can see this uh, weld part all the way blue, and this orifice will be discolored. Y este orificio se va a ver descolorido, uh, hay veces que la soldadura se va a ver medio azul, uh, como que si estuvo muy caliente cuando lo soldaron, uh, y el orificio se va a ver como, como, como una quemadura. It's going to look like, uh, like if the well burned a hole through it, but it's not. This orifice is perfectly normal. It belongs there. Se, se mira a veces que la soldadura le hizo un hoyo al tambor, pero no. 
Uh, esto es perfectamente normal, este orificio uh, le pertenece ahí. Okay, so we have the three five and reverse. Uh, tenemos el, el pistón de tercera, quinta y reversa. This is what goes in first on the drum. Es lo primero que va. And then we have uh, the piston housing. It's a piston housing for the three five reverse. And the uh, one to two, two to three, and three to four piston, which is this one. Y este es el housing que es de tercera, quinta y de de primera, segunda, segunda, tercera y tercera y cuarta. This goes next. And then you have a snap ring. Después de eso tienes un candado. The snap ring goes next. And then the one to two, two to three, three to four piston. Y luego después el pistón de primera, segunda, segunda, tercera y tercera y cuarta. El que, el que se rompe seguido. Then you would have a, a bell fill spring. Después tienes una, un resorte de retorno. And then you would have a balance piston. Y luego después tienes un pistón de balance. And then your snap ring. Y luego después tu candado. This is not, this does not have a big crack. But if you look at the frictions, the new ones. They're not burnt. But they are discolored. No están quemados, pero están descoloridos. They look brown. They don't look brand new. Se miran café. No se miran nuevecitos. This is an indication that, that they are stressed. Esta es una indicación de que están estresados. Uh, por alguna razón, a lo mejor uh, se patinó poquito este por, la, por el pistón. Uh, there's a, one reason for that would be that the, the, the small crack in the piston allowed this to not uh, uh, engage completely. So here we have the, uh, the most common issue. This uh, friction as well, as you see here, I mean, they, uh, they like to burn as well. But this is more common than, than those frictions there. Esto es más común que los cloches de allá. But you will see that, because you see that it's, it was burned there. Pero si lo vas a ver seguido porque estás viendo de que eso es lo que le había pasado a esta transmisión. Okay, now we're going to disassemble the pump. Eight millimeter bolts. Remove them. Okay, now that we have uh, all of our bolts removed. Then we can pick our stator up, and this stator is more like, uh, this pump is more like the 4L60, it's a vein, vein type pump. So here we see that it's a little bit scored, not a lot. So I'm assuming they have an issue with the torque converter here. If I lift this up. You can see that it's, uh, it has a slide like a 4L60 does. It has the uh, pump, uh, the, the, the uh, volume spring in it. You have the vein retainer uh, rings. You have the veins and you have the rotor. Just like a uh, normal 4L60 or 4T65, 4T60, 440T4, almost all General Motors products have uh, Vein type, vein type pumps here. Go ahead and put that to the side. And you want to you want to feel in here and uh, make sure that you don't have that it's not scored. It's not gonna be dug up. You also want to check the slide. And this one, if you see that it is nice and, and dark gray. That means that it has no wear on the slide itself. Once the slide starts to turn white or chrome, then it is uh, worn out. Aquí vemos que la bomba es igual que la 4L60, es tipo de vena, tiene su rotor, tiene sus venitas. Uh, hay que revisar muy bien de que el slide no esté dañado. Si lo miras así gris oscurito, eh, está en buenas condiciones, no tiene desgaste. 
si lo miras cromado ya está desgastado también hay que checar en la superficie del aluminio que no esté uh, que no tenga rayas zanjas ondas si las tiene eh, la campana hay que reemplazarla if it's groove if it's cord or groove then the bell housing has to be replaced you can get the bell housing from General Motors si la puedes comprar la campana en la, en la agencia de la Chevron basically all the parts that you find here that you're going to need here you're going to uh, buy them from uh, GM uh, there is a kit available now for these units uh, las partes las vas a comprar en la agencia de General Motors uh, ya salieron partes, ya salió el kit para esta transmisión uh, el pistón lo tienes que comprar en la agencia pero cloches y ligas y sellos uh, ya está disponible en la, en la aftermarket uh, paper orbits and seals, the filter, the uh, clutches are available through the aftermarket uh, but the piston is not, so you have to get that from General, uh, General Motors. So this is the pump. Okay, uh, so we got our challenge here. We're going to try to remove that snap ring. We're we'll going to remove these hubs out of the way. Vamos a tratar de remover el candado ese. Vamos a quitar los hubs estos. not going to be easy, no va a ser fácil, you see here's one eye, eyelet and here's the other eyelet and you use a big uh, snap ring pliers, they're locking pliers, when you close them it locks, then you remove the snap ring off, uh, uh, usas unas uh, uh, pinzas de ojo que, tienen, que se laquean, cuando las sierras se laquean y remueves el candado, lo pisas con el pie en el suelo para quitar las pinzas, whenever you get this snap ring off, you put it on the ground, you put it on the floor, you put your foot on it, so you can take your snap ring pliers off. That's how big this snap ring is. Now there's no place for, for me to get the screwdriver through the back. No hay lugar donde meterle por detrás del candado. But there's an opening here, and there's a piece of a snap ring here. Pero hay una abertura aquí, y aquí está un pedazo del candado. What we're going to try to accomplish here is we're going to try to push it uh, just enough so that I can get something behind it. Vamos a tratar de pucharlo uh, para poder meterle un desarmador por detrás del candado. So we can just go ahead and yank the snap ring out para poder mover ese candado. Uh, it's going to be a little bit stubborn, so uh, a little bit of patience, just bear with me. Okay, let's see what we're going to be able to do here. Vamos a ver qué vamos a tratar de poder hacer aquí con esto para poder remover este candado. So we can remove this uh, snap ring. Okay. Aquí ya le voy a poder meter algo por detrás. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit of luck here. Put something behind it. Okay. Ahí va, más o menos un poquito. Ya le puedo meter algo por detrás. Put something behind it now. Let's see if I can. Uh, Get a bigger screwdriver behind that. Vamos a ver si puedo poner algo más grande allí. Try and hold it. You can try your hands, but I surely don't recommend that. Get your fingers cut behind the snap rings, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt pretty good. Puede ser con la mano, pero no te lo recomiendo porque ese candado se te atora atrás con los dedos y va a doler mucho. Wear your safety glasses, tus lentes de seguridad. You can lose an eye with this thing. Puedes perder un ojo. It'll come. I 
viene. are new frictions but I can see that the steels are a little discolored but the frictions are brand new. We had an issue as well here. Take the other set of frictions off. These are brown, normally brown in color, not tan or yellow like the other ones. These are a little, a little dark, yeah, it was slipping, going into reverse. So we haven't pinpoint pointed the problem yet. Here, down here, all we got is just the planetary gear set. There we have it, now we have an empty case. Oh, look at that. Lo tenemos ya, tenemos una caja vacía. And I guess I was not wrong. If you can see here, that's blue assembly blue. That's not even melted yet. So uh, it means that they just, uh, they just finished working with this unit and they couldn't find the issue or they're still having issues. Parece ser de que estos planetarios, parece ser de que si es fresco, que es fresca grasa, que esto ha sucedido hace poquito. Todavía no se derrite la grasa. Aquí están nuestros tambores. These are all our drums. Ya sacamos nuestro candado. Ahora vamos a inspeccionar la caja de válvulas. Now we're going to inspect our valve body. And I believe we're going to find a stuck open valve. We had a delayed reverse engagement and delayed forward engagement. Uh, yo estoy seguro que vamos a encontrar una válvula abierta en la caja de válvulas. Uh, tenía, uh, se dormía eh, para enfrente y se dormía en reversa. Uh, o le ponías en cambio y tardaba para entrar el cambio. That's what, that's what it means delay. Es lo que significa el delay. So aquí tenemos ya 6090, todo fuera del barril. We have a 6L90, everything out of the barrel of the case. And our next thing is our valve body. Let's find the culprit. Okay, so here we have our valve body. Aquí tenemos nuestra caja de válvulas. Let's go ahead and start disassembling it. Vamos a comenzar a desarmar para ver qué le vamos a encontrar. Okay. Vamos a desconectar el uh, manual lever position sensor, el sensor de la, el, uh, let's disconnect the internal mode switch, el sensor de la válvula manual. Now we're going to remove the uh, transmission controller, transmission control module and solenoid assembly. Ahora vamos a remover la computadora de la transmisión con uh, solenoides. Todos los dieces primero. We'll remove all the 10 millimeter bolts. Y luego le removemos 5, 8 millimeters. Then we remove 5, uh, 7 millimeters. 
con 7 milímetros. Socket, I mean, uh, bolts, two tens, four, and five, seven millimeters. Now we can remove our uh, transmission control module. Ahora sí ya podemos remover la, la computadora de la transmisión. We're going to go ahead and disconnect our speed sensors. Vamos a desconectar nuestros uh, es, velocímetros, sensores de velocidad, Hall Effect Sensors, there we go. Ok, ya que los tenemos desconectados, ahora sí ya podemos remover la computadora de la caja de válvulas. As you see here we have uh, four pressure switches, that's one, two, three, four pressure switches. And then all of the solenoids have this uh, screen plate here. And with the contamination that you get, uh, you need to replace this screen every time you go. You get into the into working on this unit, and this just uh, pops off. Cada vez que abres la transmisión, si tienes mugrero adentro, rebaba, reemplaza esta. Esta la más se remueve así de fácil. As you can see, you can just remove it like that. Aquí tenemos los solenoides, tenemos uh, dos on off, here we have the uh, solenoids, we have two on off solenoids, uh, and six uh, pulse width modulated solenoids, y seis uh, uh, pulsados, solenoides pulsados, we have uh, one uh, term uh, thermistor here, tenemos un thermistor aquí, or temperature sensor, Uh, uh, here we have the, uh, the cooling for the transmission control module, un pedazo de aluminio que enfría la, la computadora de la transmisión. And this little square right here is our transmission control module. Y este cuadrito aquí es la computadora de la transmisión. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this to the side. Vamos a poner eso a un lado. Vamos a revisar la caja de válvulas. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the uh, valve body. Now we have uh, two 8 millimeter bolts here and the rest of them are seven. Tenemos dos uh, tornillos de 8 millimeters uh, aquí y los demás son siete. This is the internal mode switch or manual lever position sensor. Este es el, uh, el, el switch de modo interno o el sensor de la palanca de los cambios. I'm going to set this to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the rest of the 7 millimeter bolts. Vamos a remover los, los otros siete. Well, we have another eight here. Tenemos otro ocho acá. En el beat and roller. En el rodillo de la palanca de los cambios. Now let's go ahead and remove this. Uh, the leftover five. Otro cinco. Now we're going to go ahead and flip it over, remove our speed sensors, vamos a quitarle nuestros velocímetros, 8 millimeters, 8 millimeter socket, set this to the side, damos los clips, we unclip them, Okay, now we got them removed. Ahí están removidos. Sometimes this thing won't, won't come off, but you can just unlatch it and take it off. Okay, so ahora tenemos uh, siete millimeters. Again, seven millimeter bolts.
mentioned all these. This is a General Motors product. It's a Japanese made icing or Asian Warner icing transmission. It's an icing valve body used on a General Motors product. Tiene la marca Icing de Toyota, como las transmisiones japonesas. Está usado en un producto de Chevrolet, General, General Motors. Now we uh, separate the half uh, of the valve body. And here we have our check balls. Aquí tenemos nuestras canicas. Now one of these check balls I've seen before is this one here that wears out and likes to go through the spacer plate through the other side of the case I mean to the other side of the spacer plate and here we have seven check balls let's see one two three four five six yeah seven check balls tenemos siete canicas and this is where they go this is where they seven check balls siete canicas molded Spacer plate, uh, plato moldeado. Uh, el empaque ya viene moldeado en el plato. The gasket is already molded on the, on the spacer plate. It's not removable. No se remueve. And this is the other half of our valve body. Y esta es nuestra otra mitad de la caja de válvulas. So what are we looking for? So qué estamos buscando? Uh, we're looking for a valve that's dragging or there is, that is open. Estamos buscando una válvula que se arrastra o que está uh, pegada, abierta. Ok, so uh, we use a flathead screwdriver. Usamos un desarmador uh, plano. And then we start uh, checking them for free, freedom of movement. Luego checamos para ver si se mueven libremente, which they are, que si se están moviendo. Now this half of the valve body, the one that has these two uh, valves here, I forget the name of these two valve bodies, but I mean these two valves, but the springs wear out on these valves and they cause false solenoid codes. We have a piece of gasket, pedazo de empaque. Cuando estas válvulas, uh, los resortes se, de, se desgastan, uh, mete el código de solenoide. So there we can see that the valves are, are free. They're moving free. Ahí vemos que las válvulas esas se están moviendo libremente, no están pegadas. Another thing that I need to mention here is that these end plugs, estos pluguecitos de aluminio, uh, se desgastan. They also wear out, those end plugs. I'm hoping that Sonic some, uh, will come up with O-ring end plugs for those. Ojalá y Sonic uh, salga con... Uh, uh, estos plugs con, con liga in the future en el futuro ojalá y salga con eso uh, here we see a piece of silicone coming out of here un pedazo de silicón I don't know where that came from but it's a piece of rubber un pedazo de de, de hule ok so uh, so far Hasta ahorita todas las válvulas se mueven libremente. So far all the valves are moving freely. We don't have no stuck valves. No tenemos ninguna válvula que esté pegada. And where did that metal came from? That's another question. ¿De dónde vino ese metal? Esa es otra pregunta. It is very common that the aftermarket torque converters, uh, they get damaged. Es bien, es bien común de que los, las turbinas que uno les instala, que compra, uh, se dañan uh, rápidamente. Why, why is that reason? I don't know. ¿Por qué se dañan rápidamente? No lo sé todavía, pero a mí ya me pasó. Eh, una de las turbinas se eh, desgranó todavía adentro y reconstruida. It was a rebuilt unit, uh, torque converter from a... Uh, okay, so here we have the 6L90E already uh, completed disassembled. And uh, the only thing that we could find is that piston has a little bit of crack in it, a little crack, and that will cause a cross leak. Whenever you have a cross leak like that, you will, get, you, you will have some malfunctions there. Now another thing that uh, we noticed is that we had a 
piece of gasket and we had a piece of rubber stuck to the plate. Now we, if we look at the spacer plate, I don't see a place where that gasket could have gone. It's not missing. Now, we found a piece of rubber or a piece of silicone and we found a piece of gasket stuck in the plate. My point is now is that everything, whenever you work on valve bodies, just make sure that your spacer plate, all of your valves, everything are super clean and you're going to avoid issues. This transmission had issues and all the valves are free. We have metal in the pan. So that's an indication that the torque converter, it's uh, damaged. I don't have the torque converter with me. I don't know what it looks like. I don't have it. They have it. I'm doing this transmission for another transmission shop. So, uh, I mean, I just got the unit, just the unit by itself on its own. Now, when I have that uh, transmission that the torque converter went out on, uh, on one that I did not too long ago, probably like a year ago, he had more metal than that, and this valve right here was stuck open. It was stuck in the open position. Now, uh, this valve here, I'm assuming, I can't remember exactly the name of it, but if it's the actuator feed limit valve, if it's stuck open, you're not going to have enough fluid going into all your actuators. What are the actuators? The actuators are all your shift solenoids, the pulse width modulated solenoids, and actually your clutch drums or each clutch pad is an actuator. So uh, you have to be very careful when you're working on valve bodies, when you're working on units like this, uh, especially this one that takes special fluid, Dextron 6. Uh, the reason for the special fluid is that, uh, I mean, it uses less fluid and the temperature, uh, it's a little bit higher and it takes more, more uh, that Dextron 6 takes more. Uh, beat up in other words for the use that it's get. Okay, I almost forgot I was doing this by label. Okay, lo que encontramos aquí, uh, encontramos un pedazo de empaque y un pedazo de, de hule o goma o silicón pegados en el plato. El punto que estoy tratando de hacer es de que no, no miro ningún lugar donde el pedazo de empaque uh, vaya en ese plato. Otra cosa también que quiero recordarles es de que cuando trabajen en una caja de válvulas, un cuerpo de válvulas o cualquier transmisión, ¿verdad? Que todo esté perfectamente limpio, eh, que no tenga ninguna contaminación, pedazos de empaque pegados ahí, porque va a tener orificios que van a estar tapados y te va a dar problemas. Now, the end plugs that you see here, one, two, three, four, and... I believe this one has one more, five, five end plugs, six, seven, there's seven end plugs. These end plugs, if you've seen my uh, Honda video where I, I get my uh, tubing cutter, go around it, you know, on the end plugs, creating a seal, uh, that's exactly what you want to do here. Todos los taponcitos que les enseñé, uh, si has mirado el video de la Honda que tengo, donde todos los taponcitos con una cortatubos le hago una zanjita para crear un sello, es lo que quieres hacer aquí. So you want to do it to these aluminum end plugs. Not too deep of a groove, just enough that when you put it in here, that you're going to be able to take it out just in case uh, the valve drags. So no, no se lo hagan muy hondo, sino que suficientemente para que selle el... el, el el agujero aquí que se lleve bien el tapón pero de la manera de que lo puedas remover si acaso se te atora la válvula ok so that being said I mean this is everything that I've seen so far on this unit this is a new unit a six speed rear wheel drive esta es una unidad nueva seis velocidades trasera uh, esto es lo que lo más común que yo he visto hasta ahorita hasta este momento I know that some of you guys work at the dealership and you've seen more issues with these things and uh, I haven't. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes trabajan en las agencias y han visto más problemas que yo he visto, pero hasta ahorita es lo más común, los tapones, el pistón que se craquea y la turbina que se daña. I see here more contamination, aquí ya me acabo de encontrar más contaminación, estaba pegado en un lado de la caja de válvulas, it was stuck on the side of the valve body. 
So this concludes our uh, 6L90E, 6L80, uh, 6L50. They're basically almost the same. Uh, tear down and inspection. Enjoy.